Hey guys, I'm back. Alright, so, um, it's a gloomy day. Of course, I didn't give you the weather report on the exercise video. Um, I don't know if we're going to have rain or not. It is cool out though. Um, so, I went to the park and it's only three tenths of a mile. So, Normally, when I try to jog, I only do a trot, which is just a little faster than a walk. And this time, I decided I was just going to outright jog it. So, I only managed to jog two tenths of that three tenths mile. And then I walked one complete round as my cool down. Honestly, I feel good about myself about that because. I, I want to be able to jog. All I've ever attempted to do is trot. And trotting is actually a little hard on the knees, but I discovered that the jogging isn't so rough on the knees, so... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I've done that, and, and I'm going to keep working on that because I really, seriously, I want to increase my speed Maybe not so much my speed, but at least my endurance. And, and just increase my stamina and everything. And who knows, maybe even go into a run eventually. My brother, uh, he used to be in the Marines and he had a very awesome time for his run. And even now, um, He's no longer in the Marines, but he drives the school bus on the Marine base where he had last been stationed. And he runs six miles. Now, I don't know if he's currently up with that, but the last time I heard, he would run six miles every morning. So, my brother was always a runner. He was always fast, always energetic, always, had, always was full of spunk. And when I would run, I was just so slow, sluggish. So me and my brother are like opposites when it comes to that. But I would love to be able to have the stenoma and, and endurance that my brother's got. I would love that so much. And I was considering last night when I was talking to the Lord, and I told him, I said, Father, I know that I'm working on losing the weight and I'm doing that through eating when hungry and stopping when full. That's my weight loss, you know. And I told him, I said, but I'm wanting to be firm and strong. And I want to be able to run and feel the rim blow through my hair, feel light as a feather, and feel like I'm literally able to fight gravity. So, in the toning and me going into the jogging, that isn't for my weight loss, even though I know I'll benefit some in the weight loss with it, but that is not my weight loss. My weight loss is eating in the hunger zone only. That's where my weight loss is coming in. But the toning and the, and the, the jogging is for my endurance and stamina build up along with strengthening and shaping my body. And you know, I mean, a person can lose the weight through dieting alone and maybe not be toned or have much strength, so to speak. I mean, you can feel more energetic because you don't have all that weight on you, but unless you do other things to change your body shape and your, your makeup, it's all you're gonna do is just lose the weight. And as much as I wanna lose the weight, I do want to have a toned body too. And I want to be able to run. Seriously, so that's the reason for this. And the reason why I was telling y'all to make sure to hold your stomach in, 
It's not because I'm a professional about that, but I have read in countless books and magazines that when you hold your stomach in, you're engaging it, and you're working those stomach muscles, even if you're not exercising, and you will get a toned stomach. And that's the reason why I encourage you all to do that. Uh, when I was getting uh, the fitness magazine, because I used to get that, I used to subscribe to it often. When I was getting fitness magazine, when it would talk about doing crunches and other ab works, to be sure to hold that stomach. Hold that stomach. That way you're engaging that stomach. And I had also learned through working out with, on Tybo with Billy Blanks and Denise Austin, and I had even worked out with Gilead, if anybody remembers Gilead. Gilead was around the same time Denise Austin. I think he was just a little um, earlier than Denise Austin, but they were somewhere around that time. So, uh, yeah, I've, I've worked out a lot with a lot of... Um, a lot of fitness folks and um, they had all said that the higher you bring your knees up the more you're working your abs so I was just merely repeating what I have found out for myself and yes I did used to hold my stomach in on a regular basis even when walking and I kind of just let that go but um, I just honing it in and that's even on the Leslie walk, <laughs> Leslie Samson walking. Uh, she was in my first for women magazine and she said that when you walk, stand up straight, shoulders back, and tuck that tummy in so the belly button is back toward the spine. And lift your knees up. <laughs> so. <laughs> anyway, um, we can do this guys, we can definitely do this, I know we can. I've got confidence that we can, we've just got to keep at it and not quit, not give up. Just keep working at it. My son, who I had told you was wanting to lose some weight, uh, he got to go to the doctor yesterday and uh, he had um, realized that he was getting out of control with his weight gain like last month in December and so he had pretty well cut out sodas he said except for about maybe one once in a while but on the whole part he's drinking water he has become more active in gym in school and um, he uh, he's also cut out how much he eats and um, he told me that back in December, he was 175, and yesterday, when he went to the doctor, he was 166. Nine pounds. Uh, his goal is to weigh 140. He stands at about 5'7", and his goal is to be 140. So. I know he can do it. I know he can do it. I told him I believe that he could reach that by spring. I do. I believe that. So, anyway, now to give you the news that I'm sure all of you have been watching and rating for. And rating this morning, I was 191.2. One ounce down. Now that's not significant, but that's something. That's something. So, ah, every morning is a surprise when I weigh myself. Every morning is a surprise. Either one way or another, it's a surprise. I mean, you know, I can pretty well guess how I'm doing with my eating, whether or not I've ate well, or perhaps I didn't eat as well as I thought or wanted. And so, you know, but it's still a surprise of what the outcome is the next morning. So, a one ounce loss, I'm fine with that too. But 
It would be so marvelous for tomorrow morning I weigh 189. That would be awesome. Today is day 143. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty positive it's day 143, which means that there's seven days left to 150. And I am so very anxious to see how much weight I had lost in the 30 days. How much weight I had lost in the 30 days. It's going to be great to see. So to all of you out there, I love you so much. I do. I love you so, so much. The love of Jesus Christ is strong in me for every one of you out there. And um, to my new subscribers, thank you and welcome to my channel. I will see you in tomorrow morning with an exercise and then a little later after that a vlog video so two videos every morning we get up and re-exercise and then later you get to hear how my journey's going so i love yens have a great day